okay so um let's say you have a couple of clients and the clients of customers they do not pay on time because of that you thought okay you know what i'm gonna change the um, payment policy yeah so the pricing policy so what you need to do is you need to inform your customers about that about your privacy policy so yeah not privacy policy pricing policy so what you can do is you can send them a letter this letter and you can inform them what's going to change so what do you need to put in the letter that's going that's something we're going to talk about so first thing first we will always start with the letter with the signature and then we'll start at the beginning the subject so we already have the basic so this should be fine subject and then you put new pricing policy sounds much better right okay then you will start with the yeah always put the name yeah i will emphasize it every time but always put their name and be as specific as possible i'm gonna write the first paragraph and two sentences and then we're gonna talk about that and then we're gonna go to the second paragraph okay let's see as you know introduce a new pricing policy that's something you need to keep in mind most time people don't talk about that but uh, it's something you need to be sure about that so let me explain what I mean so if you have the letter is not finished yet yeah? but uh, there's something I need to say before we go to the next part of the letter so what you need to keep in mind is you and your customer it doesn't matter if you are company or person uh, self uh, sole trader it doesn't matter if you and your customer have an agreement let's say this is your customer it can be a company but it can also be a person really it doesn't matter yeah most of the time you guys have a contract and when you have a contract people will sign the contract or people will accept the contract so for example let's say this person bought something online or this person bought something in the store we have technically a contract because I offer this they accept it yeah if you are changing your policy it's important to inform them yeah and if if it's a new client they can accept it yeah but in some country you have different rules about when you change your policy how to inform them because you cannot be like, hey, I'm changing my policy. You need to um, do what I say. No, they only accept these terms at the beginning. And it's important to know, OK, if I'm selling things online, if I want to change my policy, what are the requirements to change my policy? So the new rules will apply in the still in the contract, because think about it for a second if you have a contract both parties need to sign it if one wants to change it the other ones needs to accept it and if you look at this this example it's a nice example to see someone wants to um, put new pricing policy and you are saying okay only one person can change the contract if they do it like this no you need to follow the rules of your country some country have like okay if you follow these rules you can um, by informing your customer you're good to go but some companies they don't have that rules that means that the customer need to accept it i hope you understand what i mean so when you have a contract both people need to sign it both people need to accept it 
it's not like one party can change it without anything if the law apply the law will say okay under this condition you don't need to have permission but you need to look in the law for that yeah so that's something which you need to keep in mind and i can understand why most entrepreneurs or companies are getting irritated because people do not pay on time yeah i can get that but you also have people that cannot pay on time because of circumstances yeah in that way what you can do is always ask people to pay up front but sometimes the law forbid you you or your company to ask people to pay the full amount up front yeah so it all depends on your situation so keep that in mind when you put a new policy pricing policy everything that has to do with the terms you need to meet requirements if you do not need them to accept it again i hope you understand what i mean so that's the interesting part about um this situation i'm gonna continue let me write the last part of this letter and then um, yeah we will discuss that So the last part should be, I think I have here too much space. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. I must admit I am unhappy that we must go to such extremes, but unfortunately I am afraid that there is no other alternative. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is, this is something you can put into it. Yeah, but keep in mind what I said before, they need to accept it yeah and if you if they do not accept it then you have a problem but most of the time they do not need to accept it if you meet the requirements of the law but you need to look at okay what does my law said about this situation that's why it's important to get informed about your local lawyer how does it work here in my in my area and most people don't realize that but okay um we have we strive to provide the best service available to our clients yeah we can only uh, only continue to do this with our customer cooperation would you have any question regarding our new policy please give me a call yeah okay um there's something else i need to mention so you guys keep that in mind here you see we talk about customers a lot right customer 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 in some area they talk about clients yeah it's up to you to use which word you're going to use and if you feel like comfort um using um customer use them if you feel like clients use clients yeah technically it doesn't matter but if you're using this this template you can change it however you want yeah so it doesn't really matter but it matter how you communicate with your customer in uh, in your area or field yeah that's technically how it is but technically yeah this is another letter yeah so you're announcing new price policy and this you can put it in an email you can put it on uh, on social media but when you put in social media remove name or you can say dear customers or dear clients yeah or dear followers and then um yeah inform them it's important that you inform them and when you write this down write also a couple of letters so you know okay this one i'm gonna post on email this one i'm gonna put on social media and so forth so if you have question about it what you can do is just go to www.martis.bio.link you arrive on that page and on the page you can join the law center press join the law center and there you can ask me question i can see everything in here so 